asking for help. We all have to do it at some point. Even if you're the best programmer in the world, there's so much that you need to know that you're not going to know anything, anything, everything. And eventually you're going to have to look stuff up. I mean, you're always, you're always looking stuff up. As a programmer, you're always looking stuff up. But occasionally you find things you can't find an answer to. You just don't know the right wording or whatever the issue is. So you go to a forum or a chat and you ask, okay? So here are two, a couple of rules for people asking questions and people answering the questions because I have issues with the way people do both of them. First of all, if you're going to ask, if you have code you've been writing and there's something wrong with it, don't just post a screenshot. So many times people just post a screenshot of their code or even worse, they take a picture of their screen with their cell phone. Ah! Okay, if I'm going to answer your question, I'm not going to sit there and look at your code and try to guess what's wrong with it. I want to run that code on my machine and see what errors I get. Maybe you're typing everything right and you're just missing a dependency. And if I try to run it, I go, oh, he doesn't, probably doesn't have this dependency installed or something like that. Always post your code. If it's just one or two lines of code, put it in the comments. If it's more than that, you have to post it. You should post it somewhere like Pastebin, GitHub, GitHub, GitLab, someplace where I can copy that code or download that code and try running it. I want to actually run your code to try to find out what's wrong with it, okay? On the other, flip side, if you're answering somebody's question, actually try to do what you're asking. I don't want to call anybody out, but currently I'm having an issue with a program I'm trying to write, trying to detect some inputs, right? And I've asked the code and I said, this is what I've tried. I posted it right in the comments because there's only like two lines of code. I tried this and, and I'm not getting any response. I have two people currently trying to help me, but it's obvious that they're not actually running what they're saying because there's typos, obvious typos, uh, that they're they're doing, and they're still trying to uh, look at the input the way I've already checked. And I've already stated I'm not getting any input when I run this command. Okay, and I don't want I don't want to go into specifics because I don't want to call anybody out. But it's clear that the code they're posting isn't code that works because again there's typos in it and it just doesn't make sense. So basically they're saying I think this is the answer, but they aren't actually trying it. And I responded to both of them saying, no, that's not working. Did you actually try this and got it working? And they both replied and neither of them actually said, yes, I tried this or no, I didn't. They just said, well, this is the code. This is how you do it. And they typed the variation again with obviously typos in what they're typing. Uh, so it's not code that they actually ran and now they're copying and posting for me to try. And it's kind of aggravating. Uh, they shouldn't say this is the answer because I know how to do what they're telling me how to do. The thing is the specific uh, scenario, it's not working. And I tried it on multiple devices, desktops, laptops, phones, and it's, it's not working. And they just keep on telling me to do what I already know how to do. And it's not working. And again, it's clear that they aren't actually running the code they're typing because the code is not typed properly. If you're going to answer somebody's question, you should actually type that code out on your machine, run it and see if it works, then copy that and put and post either again, in the comments on Pastebin or GitLab or someplace where I can now get that code that you wrote to try it. And if it works on your machine and not on mine, there's something different. Either I was typing something wrong, but if I'm taking your code and it's not working, there's something else different that I need to figure out and I'm doing something different than you. But if you're just guessing at what the answer is and you're typing that and not trying it, it's like, uh, for example, one of the responses, uh, they put such and such equals such and such. Well, the, the thing it equals is supposed to be a function. It's supposed to have parentheses and they didn't have the parentheses there. So obviously they didn't run this code because they just posted, they just typed something out knowing, oh, it's, this is the, the, the function, but they didn't actually put the parentheses. So it's not code that actually runs. So I know that they didn't actually run this code and post it. So if you're asking a question, actually post your code so people can try it. Don't leave people to guess or have to retype everything that you've posted in a screenshot. And if you're answering, again, run the code first and then give them the code that you ran that you know works. That's it. That's it. I'm not trying to be rude. I'm trying to just educate people on how to do things properly. If you're asking or even giving advice, you should do it in a way that's respectful of the other person. And doing these things is just disrespectful to post a screenshot to where they can't actually run the code or to give them code that you think might be right, but it probably isn't. Okay. Thanks for watching and have a great day. It's someplace. A bird just pooped on me. A bird just pooped on me.
I've never been pooped on by a bird before, and it just pooped on me. <laughs>